Hi, I'm Joe Beretta. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. Here's your news. In a scientific first, that is a hopeful, if not controversial, step forward in the realm of regenerative medicine. Lab coat sporting superminds have created embryonic stem cells from cloned human embryos. Yay! Or yikes! I'm not sure which. Yay! Yikes! Quick recap: stem cells are like the blank slate cells. These are the little guys that end up turning into all of the other types of cells that make up your body. And stem cell research hopes to one day produce life-saving procedures and organs and replacement tissues using these embryonic stem cells. It's all very promising, but the ethical hurdle here is that the embryo is destroyed in the cell retrieving process. And as you know, we here at SourceFed are very concerned regarding whether or not you understand the ins and outs of this science. So here is a computer-generated model for what exactly happens when this cell takes life. It's not to scale. Cell division, it's like. And we're here. Now, segue to the new breakthrough. Researchers took three donated eggs from volunteers and then implanted said eggs with the chromosomes taken from skin cells of other donors. And surprisingly, at least to this plebeian brain, life powers took hold and cell division was initiated, resulting in the creation of a full-blown human embryo and a straight-up genetic copy of the skin cell donor. A clone. A clone. And these super early stage embryonic clones were jam-packed with stem cells, which the researchers successfully harvested and then turned into cell colonies. Subsequently, the new embryos were destroyed in the process. Which is where people kind of get a little angry with the rest ethics and their morals. And those cell colonies were prompted to turn into specialized cells like heart cells and brain cells and hopefully wing cells someday. So the breakthrough. First, cloned embryonic stem cell colonies. Now the real scary breakthrough. Human clones, kind of. The hope these perfect genetic matches could lead to rejection-free transplants and treatment. Maybe one day eradicating Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and creating hearts and stuff. The controversy, clones. And the fact that embryo stem cell research is still hotly debated. When is life? And do we need to funk around with embryonic stem cells when we now have the ability to induce other cells into stem cells? Maybe we should continue down that path, even though at this time there are some perceived genetic abnormalities in induced stem cells that are not seen in embryonic stem cells? I don't know! I don't know! Neither do I! Question, how do you guys feel about this? Because we clearly are torn, and we're trying to figure it out ourselves, so let us know in the comments section down below. Like, subscribe, click annotation for more videos. I am Joe Beretta. I am Elliot Morgan. I need to read a book on this. Yeah, we got sure. like some research. I got a matrix should, it into should, my mind. We should have opinions. I want it to be downloaded. Nope. Yep, just Same plug time. it like USB right into my freaking yeah. ear.